I sense a soul. The hand, the heart, and the mind can perform miracles when they are in perfect harmony. The healer Pepin sees into the body in a way that even I cannot. His ability to restore the sick and injured is magnified by his understanding of the creation of elixirs and potions. He is as great an ally as you have in Tristram. A fellow drinking peace? Why don't that old crone do something for a change? Sure, sure, she's got stuff. If you listen to me, she's unnatural. I ain't never seen her eat or drink, and you can't trust somebody who doesn't drink at least a little. Hello, my friend. Griswold, a man of great action and great courage. I bet he never told you about the time he went into the labyrinth to save Wirt, did he? He knows his fair share of the dangers to be found there. But then again, so do you. He is a skilled craftsman, and if he claims to be able to help you in any way, you can count on his honesty and his skill. What ails you, my friend? Poor Wirt. I did all that was possible for the child, but I know he despises that wooden peg that I was forced to attach to his leg. His wounds were hideous. No one, and especially such a young child, should have to suffer the way he did. Well, what can I do for... A good man who puts the needs of others above his own. You won't find anyone left in Tristram, or anyone else for that matter, who has a bad thing to say about the healer. Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Good day. Farnham is a drunkard who fills his belly with ale and everyone else's ears with nonsense. I know that both Pepin and Ogden feel sympathy for him, but I get so frustrated watching him slip farther and farther into a befuddled stupor every night. Over here. Adria truly bothers me. Sure, Cain is creepy in what he can tell you about the past, but that witch can see into your past. She always has some way to get whatever she needs, too. Adria gets her hands on more merchandise than I've seen pass through the gates of the King's Bazaar during High Festival.
please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus, he led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Your death will be avenged! Your death will be avenged.
cannot carry any more. I have no room. Your death will be avenged. Your death will be avenged! My friend. Hello, my friend. Well, what can I do for you? do for you. What ails you, my friend? What is 
kills you, my friend. I sense a soul in search of answers. Your death will be avenged. Your death will be avenged!
too much baggage. Too much baggage. some of this stuff. Too much. friend. Stay a while and listen. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you?
Wow! 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 What can I do for you? Wow, what can I do for you? I sense a soul. I sense a soul in search of answers. The Butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village. And a fellow drink in peace? Big, big cleaver, killing all my friends. Couldn't stab him. Had to run away. Couldn't save them. Trapped in a room with so many bodies. So many friends. No! What ails you, my friend? What ails you, my friend? By the light, I know of this vile demon. There were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. Hello, my friend. It seems that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son. He played upon their fears and whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors to die. Wow, what can I do for you? I saw what Farnham calls the 
butcher, as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons, and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again, but his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day. The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albrecht, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. I don't have a spell ready. Good day. How may I serve you? When Farnham said something about a butcher killing people, I immediately discounted it. But since you brought it up, maybe it is true. I don't like to think about how the king died. I like to remember him for the kind and just ruler that he was. His death was so sad and seemed very wrong somehow. Over here. I know more than you think about that grizzly fiend. His little friends got a hold of me and managed to get my leg before Griswold pulled me out of that hole. I'll put it bluntly. Kill him before he kills you and adds your corpse to his collection. Look, I'm running a business here. I don't sell information, and I don't care about some king that's been dead longer than I've been alive. If you need something to use against this king of the undead, then I can help you out.
I have no room.
Too much baggage. Too much baggage. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. my friend. Stay a while and listen. I don't have a spell ready. my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? Whoa, what can I do for you?
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? I don't have a spell ready. What ails you, my friend? What ails you, my friend? What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. a soul in search of answers. The dead who walk among the living follow the cursed king. He holds the power to raise yet more warriors for an ever-growing army of the undead. If you do not stop his reign, he will surely march across this land and slay all who still live here. And a fellow drinking tea? I don't care about that. Listen, no skeleton is gonna be my king. Leoric is king. King! So you hear me? Hail to the king! What ails you, my friend? The loss of his son was too much for King Leoric. I did what I could to ease his madness, but in the end, it overcame him. A black curse has hung over this kingdom from that day forward. But perhaps, if you were to free his spirit from his earthly prison, the curse would be lifted. Hello, my friend. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so far from the light, as Leoric had always been the holiest of men. Only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. Well, what can I do for you? I made many of the weapons and most of the armor that King Leoric used to outfit his knights. I even crafted a huge two-handed sword of the finest mithril for him as well as a field crown to match. Oh, I still can't believe how he died. But it must have been some sinister force that drove him insane.
Greetings, good master. Welcome. As I told you, good master, the king was entombed three levels below. He's down there, waiting in the putrid darkness for his chance to destroy this land. Flashback. Later that same evening.
all praises to Diablo, Lord of Terror and survivor of the Dark Exile. When he awakened from his long slumber, my lord and master spoke to me of secrets that few mortals know. He told me the kingdoms of the high heavens and the pits of the burning hells engage in an eternal war. He revealed the powers that have brought this discord to the realms of man. My lord has named the battle for this world and all who exist here the Sin War. My friend, stay a while and listen. I don't. 